Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to download and install Android Studio on Windows operating system. So first, open Google Chrome browser. In this type, Android Studio download. Now it will redirect you to official website of Android. This is your first link. So open this official website. My operating system is Windows. So it is showing automatically download Android Studio Jellyfish for Windows. So just click on this. Download will get started. Before that you have to accept the license and agreement. So just check this box and click on this download android studio now download is started here this is a file which i have downloaded it is .exe file so just double click on it click yes button now setup is started so just click on next button now see if you want to run any Android application you need some physical devices but if you don't want to add physical devices with your Android setup then you can use the virtual devices but to use that virtual devices you have to check this box so I will check this box and it is nothing but the and you have to add or you are adding the Android virtual devices so just check this box and click on next button now it is showing path where your Android studio will get installed so it is in C drive program files folder. So I want to keep same path. So just click on next button. Again click on install. Now installation is in progress. Now here installation is completed successfully. Just click on next button. And I want to start Android studio. So just click on finish button and it will start the Android Studio. Just check this box because we want to start Android Studio. Just click on finish. Now here it is showing message help improve Android Studio. Just click on don't send button. Now it is showing message that missing SDK. So we have to add the SDK files also. So just click on next button. Just click on next button. It is just showing the setting of this Android. It is which type of setup. That is a SDK path where it is located. Again it is a com SDK components it is showing. Emulator and uh, sources of Android platform like this. So just click on next button. And here it is showing license and agreement. Just click on accept the agreement. And click on finish button. It's downloading components. So we have to wait for some time. Downloading of components has been completed. So just click on finish option. Now see if you have installed Android before. It is showing the previous names available like this. If you are installing first time it will show the welcome screen. Now we'll start with our first Android application. So you will have here welcome window. So from that you have to select new project. Again while selecting project you have to select the template. Templates are available. It is showing phone and tablet. Again OS, television and automotive type of templates. So I want to create application related with phone and tablet. So select the template phone and tablet. From that first we'll select the empty activity. So just click on this. Now here you have to give name. So I will give the name as first app. Okay. Again, according to your phone name, it will take the package name also and it will save your application within this path. 
again after this you have to select the minimum sdk minimum sdk is minimum version of android required to run android application whatever is given you can select this or you can use this option help me to choose it so it is giving by default so just you have to click on ok again it is showing the build configuration language so kotlin is official language so it is showing this basic configuration language as a kotlin after this just you can click on finish option now gradle project sync is in progress so we'll wait for this if you observe this package in in this it is given that main activity and this is a type of code of type kotlin which is written in kotlin language so exten extension for this file is dot kt after that here they have created main function that is a component activity and here it is displaying a message like a hello android so hello on this hello is greeting and after that they have applied component activity that is a android so here they have created function for greeting so still gradle sync is in progress now see here it is showing build successful and approximately it has taken 6 minute and 37 of second it depend this time depends on your internet speed connectivity speed after this we have to add device manager so if you see on right side the top corner it is showing the option device manager you see top right corner option is there device manager so just click on it now it is showing message no devices connected and we want to add device create virtual device because we are going to create use virtual device within this you have to select the category whether you want to select phone tablet or what so we have selected phone and tablet so phone again by default it, it is suggesting the device configuration so i will take this by default device whatever is given and just click on next button after this we have to select default os and images so i will select this again it is downloading the sdk components here installation of SDK component is completed. So just click on finish button. Again click on next button. Here you have to select whether you want orientation as a portrait or landscape. Just click on finish button. Now see here we are not adding the physical device that's why we have added this AVD Android virtual device So see we have to start with virtual device or we have to establish connectivity with this so just click on this so it will connect to the emulator Here we have connected with the device. No device device has just started. If you see this code again in main.activity file, they have given the greetings as an Android and here they have provided string as a hello. So we'll execute this program. So here it is showing the three options. First one is for code, second in with the split view and third one is for design mode. So if you click on design, 
so we have to refresh this so it is taking time to build this now see it is showing the greeting preview in this it is showing the message to start UI check mode again start interactive mode and third option here it is showing the run for preview so just click on this third option it is taking time build gradle so we have to wait for it so it is showing message hello and wait so if we want we can change this message also for this again we have to come back to code select this code view again within this hello thing will be as it is just we want to modify here we have to modify the on create message so here just instead of android you can type another string welcome to my channel so same string we have to copy and we have to provide in greetings also again open the design view greeting preview here so again if you click here here are three options first one start ui checkup then interactive mode and third one is a run preview so if i click this it will show me output on my device hello welcome to my chat here we have connected with android virtual device we have not connected any kind of physical device so that's why here installation of avd is compulsory so friends i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any queries related with this video you can comment me in comment box if you really like this video don't forget to like subscribe and share this video thank you